Welcome back everybody. In this video I want to do a special shout out to a great guy with a cool channel or a cool guy with a great channel. However you want to slice it. Well his channel is Diecast and Railways Lowell Pepper. Uh, his name is Alberto. Now here we have uh, he's got 144 subscribers and I'm subscribed and I've got the bell for all notifications uh, pressed and his channel only for adult diecast collectors and Marklin Railway fans. Well, he's got a very cool format for showing videos. He'll show particular castings such as uh, those ones in the back. And this particular one, I had no idea really about the history of the car. And well, uh, he'll show the diecast and then he'll show some pictures and actual some films of uh, the actual car in, in action, some vintage films and uh very cool and then you have to read the description and it includes lots of information everything you want to know about the car so that's very cool so you get to see the die cast the real car and in some cases uh you get to see commercials for you know these cars such as this one well uh let's go back here and i'll just show you the rest of the uh videos that these are just uh you know the ones that feature uh, the variety of cars that and well, vehicles, trains that he likes to show. And then he loves American cars. And so that's very cool. So let's go to his videos. Now here's the uh, one with the Morris. And let's have a look at this one. Hello there. And so very cool. Now Morris made a version of this, the 1100, and then Austin, and then MG as well. And that's what I got here. And very cool. So it's a matchbox version. Now he has a larger uh, casting. But here's my MG, and there's the front end on it. So that's the MG front end. And you get to see the real pictures here. See, so that's a larger scale than what I have. But you see the driver and there's a doggy in the window and he's watching the video here <laughs> anyways. So that's pretty cool. Real pictures and very cool uh, die cast. Now let's see, how long is this film? Okay, well, uh, they're quick, easy uh, videos to watch. You know, anywhere from maybe a couple minutes to six minutes or so. And uh, well, let's, uh, let's see. Okay, here we go. A very cool commercial. Vintage commercials. This is awesome. So this is what's great about his channel. Uh, you never know what kind of films he's going to show. But how awesome is that? <laughs> yeah. And these are commercials for the car. Look at that. <laughs> so how cool is that? So let's uh, go back. Uh, well, check out his channel, check out his videos, and you'll get to enjoy the cool, fun factor of, uh, you know, real cars. And it makes collecting these die casts so much more interesting and fun, and you learn a lot. And so, of course, uh, he's got a wide variety of cars, and of course, trains as well. And so there's that one, the Mazda, while well, he showed that one, and then pictures of the real car. And, and of course, uh, he shows, uh, well, the Queen. <laughs> and, well, he's uh, showing British cars. And these are very cool cars, and I don't have any of those. I don't have the, the Triumph or the, the Ford console, the older one. Well, I do have some newer ones. So I thought I'd show you some of my British cars, my diecast. Now, I don't have films and pictures but uh, here's a dinky very cool dinky toys and I found that I believe at a toy show and then there's a little red button there so you can open the hood <laughs> so that's pretty neat and then of course the doors open and the trunk lid opens so that's one of my favorite ones I have and maybe Alberto, if you have a Cortina, that'd be very cool to see that in your British car series. And here is a Corgi Ford Zodiac. Now in North America, they sold this at the Mercury dealership. So the Mercury Zodiac and then the Ford console at the Ford dealership. 
but this is a very cool corgi that I've had for a while. Yeah, I love that. And then, of course, I got the Lovejoy Morris Minor, and that's very cool corgi as well. Now, it was made in England, but as you can see, it says China now, and where they covered up the English England portion there, but very nice little casting to have. Absolutely love that one. Then, of course, you get some spare parts. You know, you get the wing mirrors and, uh, and something else. Uh, anyways, you get parts there. Anyways, that's pretty cool. And so let's uh, scroll along here. And, of course, you get see cool train videos. Really interesting uh, channel. You get to see so many cool things on this channel. I highly recommend you uh, check out his channel. Uh, he showed this Volkswagen. Now, Kinsmart makes 132 scale Volkswagen Beetle. And I don't have a 132 scale second uh, Kinsmart, but I have this one. And uh, I'm not sure what the brand is, but very similar to uh, the Kinsmart. And this one, the trunk opens. And the doors open, of course. And so you get to see the interior, pretty nice. And of course, it's a pull dock. So I thought that was very cool. I have uh, don't have the exact cars he has, but I have uh, very similar cars. And just such a cool variety of cars that he shows. So I highly recommend you check out his channel. And give him a sub, because he definitely deserves it. Puts a lot of work into it. Oh, well, there's that one. So lots of really interesting, cool European cars. And then, of course, American cars that he loves as well, and trucks and trains. And, well, let's get rid of that one. So here's a 118 scale Mercedes 300 SL Gullwing. I don't have the 118 scale version, but I do have the 124 scale version, and it's essentially the exact same casting. It's just a, this one's smaller, and all the same details. And the hood and trunk opens. And so the 118 scale is a, just a larger version of this one, and very cool steerable wheels. So there you go. I just want to give a shout out and let's give him some more subs because he, like I said, he's definitely deserves it. He puts a lot of effort and time into making these videos and it's well worth it. You will enjoy his channel, I guarantee you. Or I'll give you your money back. <laughs> well, anyways, thank you very much for watching. And I'll catch you in the next one.